got? That's nice. Hopefully it warms up in here pretty quick. It's like, what, 32 degrees right now? Yeah, so it's Supposed cold. Supposed to get colder. Hey y'all, welcome back to our ranch. It's a Friday night about, I don't know. What time nine -ish. Is it? Nine -ish. Nine -ish. Uh We just got out to the ranch, uh, stopped by the Cracker Barrel and got some food because we start our diet on Monday. Cause and we, we start our diet every Monday. <laughs> every Monday, but anyway, so we, we, we stopped by Cracker Barrel on the way. Um, we just fired up the heater and uh, we're gonna unload the truck. Hopefully this place will warm up fairly quickly. Yes. Uh, I guess I'm unloading the truck. The <laughs> stars know. are absolutely phenomenal oh out here. You can see the Milky Way and it's like, it's pretty, pretty freaking cool. But with that cool comes super cold temperatures. So as you know, we live in Texas and it doesn't get super cold down here very often, but this week it's gonna be frigid. So it's down into the teens. Um, tonight it's gonna get down into the twenties. So um, the kerosene heater hopefully will work to heat this place up. And then this weekend, our goal is to sand the main body of the cabin and put our third coat of mud up. And oh boy, so <laughs> excited. More mudding and shit. Hold down the enthusiasm. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's taking forever to do the sheetrock. Not our favorite, um, but. No, we had some stuff, you know, life happens, gets in the way, slows things down. All right, so I guess we are gonna go unpack the truck and. Uh, Get everything ready for tomorrow morning. So does we mean we or does we mean me? No, of course I'm gonna help you. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we're sitting here on the couch staring at this wall and realizing there are a lot of what they call blisters. So how do we fix those blisters, Sean? Well, we're gonna cut them out with a knife and then we're gonna mud in them unless they're right on a crack. If they're like, the bubbles are over the crack, then I think we're gonna have to cut that little section and put tape ah. in, oh, gosh, in you're the so crack. Mad. Ah. Ah. So. And this is what happens when you're amateurs, but that's okay. It's all right. We'll do better in our bedroom. We should have started in our bedroom. We do it nice, cause we do ah. it twice. Are you warm? Breakfast of champions this morning. Pop tarts and a rock star. Okay, we're gonna get started on uh, one of our hopefully final steps of doing this sheet rock. Hopefully and, this is the third and final well, coat. Yeah, we'll see. We've got some bubbles to cut out that are in the tape. You can see like, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but yeah. there's a couple of bubbles. We got to take care of. There's a lot of sanding to be done. We do know it's not going to be a perfect job, but we want to get it as good as possible. Once we're done sanding, we're going to go cut the bubbles out of the tape and uh, then we'll put another coat of uh, mud on here. Uh, then we'll sand again. We've gotten wiser as we've gone through this process. So we're just putting up a dust barrier to the bedroom so that all the bedding and our clothes and stuff don't get all the dust from sanding. We also decided to hook up a fan to try to keep some of the dust from piling up in here. So just taking all precautions we can to keep the air clean, even though it's freezing. We'll get, we'll get hot open. We're trying to clean up some of the dust before we start mudding. <clears throat> so I've added some water to the mud kind of made like a pancake batter like consistency out of it. Cake batter, whatever, whatever floats your boat. It's just a rough guess because we're amateurs. Um, so I got the batter, I mean the mud done here. 
I'm gonna put it in one of these pans here and I'm gonna start at the highest points and then we're gonna work down. So I'm gonna get everything up on the scaffolding and get that done. And then uh, we'll come down on the ground and finish the rest of it. So it took us about, I say us, it took Sean about two and a half hours to finish the top part by moving the scaffolding all around. And now we're working on getting the lower half done. Um, little, little labor intensive, but Sean is doing a fabulous job being meticulous so that it makes me happy. And I appreciate the extra effort. Bella does too. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten with ten being just the bestest time ever how much fun are you having Maybe so as he adds on fresh mud sometimes the blisters really pop out bubble so having to refill it and then it takes a couple coats because it shrinks in tell him your good news sean I don't have to do the kitchen wall because it's going to be covered up. Don't have to do the kitchen wall because it's going to be covered. I figured, why not? Live on the dangerous side. Be wild yeah. and crazy. What I've got to live for right now is Mexican food at a Mexican restaurant with some pretty good salsa and chips. So that's my motivation for life right now. Is she not doing it right, Bella? Probably not. You're much better at it than I am. Day 10,563. I was talking about this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did finish. We did a, a sand yesterday, and then we finished our third coat of mud on the main body of the cabin. <sighs> so um, where we are in Texas, there's like a huge cold front coming through supposed to be possibly snow and ice and I think really all across the nation is getting this cold front but yeah but we're not used to it so so um, we're gonna try to get wrapped up today fairly early so we can get a head back home uh, get a head back home yeah so we can head back home grandpa we, couldn't move last night so. I'm a little <laughs> sore man so that that sander and then all the mud. The mud and, and getting up and down, you know, From my, the my old age is starting to kick in with my knees and stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, old age and fatness, but. So last night we went to dinner and then we just hung out here, jammed with our turtle box and played some oldies and it was nice. It was a nice down evening. So that's the game plan. We're going to try to get this knocked out uh, fairly quickly this morning and then uh, load up the truck and uh, head for home. So we're gonna finish drinking our very bad for us energy drinks and then get to work. Sweet. Yay. So excited. So excited. So excited. Okay. All right, stick with us. Okay, go to work. Um, you said we're gonna finish our energy drinks. <laughs> I'm waiting for that energy to kick in. Yeah, best of luck. Yeah. We. As you know, I'm a little picky sometimes. A little? So we have discussed our communication for the day so that he doesn't get snippy with me and I have a, a strategy to point out the things that need to be redone. And not because he's not doing it well, but because when he's sanding and he's at one point and I'm standing back and looking, 
I'm able to see things from a different perspective that he can't see when he's right on top of it. So yesterday he was a little irritable so, when I would call it out. And so he's like- It wasn't that she was calling it out. <laughs> the thing is, is I would be sanding and every minute and a half to two minutes, she was stopping me. I'm like, I'm never gonna get this done if I keep stopping. So. I, I just, I was able to see things he couldn't see. So we decided we would wait since today should hopefully be the final sanding. We're waiting for today for me to be able to say things and the strategy in which to do so. So best of luck to us today. So the strategy is, is that she doesn't stop me every minute and a half to two minutes, that she waits until I actually shut the sander off with a mental note of where I need to go back to fix. Yes. That way I'm not constantly starting and stopping. Yes. Yes. That's the point. Mental note, can you please redo the whole top side? <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna do it. It's okay. There's honey. no, there's not gonna be any eye rolling and no snippy. And what else did we say? I thought that was it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And I'm guilty as well. So it's both of us working together. It's going to be a good day. Cheers to last step of drywall well, in here. And until the bedroom. And until the, the other three rooms we have to do. Yeah. Yep, it's okay. Okay, let's rock and roll. It's time. Go us. All right, here we go. All right, so you found a lot of different things. What? I can't see. So lots of issues. One, the sander stopped catching the dust, so that's a bummer. It's really super dusty in here. Um, but we found a lot of a lot of things that need fixed. A lot of blisters. A lot of tape that we sanded too far down. And I'm not sure if we're being too picky or if the texture is going to cover this or what, but. Kind of over it. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> over it. Um, you know, there may be some repair work after texture and paint. I don't know. Uh, we see a blister and I go back to find it and then I can't find it. So, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just in our minds. It's not in our minds, but it is, what, goes, it is what it is. Let's go with it's in our minds. Okay, it's I'll, totally yeah. in our minds. Yeah. We imagined it as we went through. But it's good. We're going to start cleaning. We we'll call it good for today. And tomorrow, John and Deere, forever. green and yellow broom, like that. It's not really John Deere, but <laughs> look at who's flying a broom now. Ooh, it's, Woo! A, it's a shop broom. Oh, okay. You so it makes a difference. Okay, broom. okay. You Alrighty. Plow with the shop <coughs> we put our goggles on, but then you couldn't really see what was happening either. So I, I always have goggles on because I can't see. Okay, well, we're going to put our mask back on and we're going to start cleaning. So, good luck to us. All right. <laughs> Big Ben. <laughs> Did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did something in Big Daddy Bear. It's pretty thick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we were just sitting here talking about what we would do differently if we could redo it. One of the things is we would start in the bedroom before we came out to the cabin so that all of our flaws could be just seen by us and not everybody, but. And that's my bad, because my, my mentality is to start with the hardest part first and then move into the easier part. So I'm like, oh, the main cabin, that's gonna be the hardest part because it's bigger and lots of high, yeah, we should have started in the bedroom to practice in a less conspicuous area. Uh, but, you know, hey, <laughs> learn as you go, right? Learn as we go. If you don't learn anything while you're doing it, then yeah. what's the point, right? So some of the things we learned is that we want a generous layer of mud when we're putting the tape on. And so the tape adheres and we have less blister. So that's one takeaway that we can take into the bedrooms and the bathroom and the laundry room as we go absolutely um and the other thing is is communication 
no eye rolling, no <laughs> frustration. But Tony's agreed not to stop me every, you know, every two minutes, sort of. I thought that of. was just for this project. I thought it was on, but <laughs> I was just going to try. So, and, and it is my bad. I get frustrated because I get going and stop and get going and stop and get going and stop. And then Sometimes he gets so hyper-focused that he forgets to communicate and forgets to enjoy the journey. Like, truly, we're doing this together because we're building this fun little cabin for our family and for memories and we're gonna screw up and we have to be able to talk to each other through it because I make just as many mistakes. Shh, don't say that. Um, what? Damn it, that's on camera. <laughs> shoot, what? shoot. Okay, what? anyway, he makes a lot of mistakes and then I make a few and so we have to work together to overcome those. Wow. Shh, okay, move on, move on, it's okay. I can spell Dr. Pepper. Zero. Not that you're a zero. <laughs> you just drink, oh, look at. <laughs> Anyway, for later. <laughs> so, thanks for coming along with us on this adventure that we are having. We appreciate you being a part of it. Please give us a comment. Tell us what you think, what we can do better. If you've done drywall in the past, tell us what we can do to make it easier on our next little bits. Cause and, and we do apologize that this is not the end of the drywall. We still have the bedroom to do. And we're going to move everything out here from the bedroom. So this will be our bedroom for a little while. And then we're going to like partition it off. So hopefully to retain the dirt in there for the most part. Same with the bathroom and the laundry closet. Um, so we're not done with sheetrock. After we finish the floating and taping and all that good stuff, then we're, we're going to move gonna everything out and texture and shoot texture and then we're going to paint. paint and then it's tongue and groove on the roof on the roof not on the roof on the ceiling uh -huh. also uh finishing in our, our our electrical um so that we can just for now hook the generator up to the outside of the cabin and power up all of our outlets and lights yeah when we get the vaults done we can do that yep. well we still have the ceiling lights but right but we'll we can yeah. you know we can figure that out we don't have a, <gasps> that's so exciting we Get don't have work. a firm plan and then after that we we'll probably go to uh flooring and uh cabinets and doors well we have the kitchen we have the bathroom we have our closet we have the doors i don't like your list we <laughs> Your list gets bigger and bigger. We're going to do it, though. We're going to do it. It'll We're get gonna done. Do it. Anyway, thanks for joining us. I hope you guys have liked some of our content. So rest assured, we have another 20 years of content, right? No, here. we don't. <laughs> we don't. I mean, we do, but not of building this. Oh, we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like our content, please smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, go have an adventure of your own. Bye. Ready to start all over again.